Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use XTB trading platform. XTB in my opinion is really easy to use and I believe after watching this video you will have, you will know the basics on how you can use it and how you can buy and sell for example. Now if you want to register an XTB there is going to be a link down below in the description and if you're going to use the link in the description you will support this channel and myself too. So it's a referral link if you want to. Now let's jump dive into the tutorial straight away and I'm going to explain you how we can use it. So when you're going to be in market watch, uh, you're going to find on the top left all the things that you can buy. Let's say Forex and then we're going to have market sentiment, which I really like on XTB that you have option to find sellers and buyers. Then you're going to have commodities here as a energy, industrial metals, other livestock even. Then you're going to have option to find crypto that you can buy, stocks and ETF also. So let's say you can easily find a US stocks here. And this is like really great overview or what you can buy and what you can have. My recommendation is changing the click trade view to a normal view. I like the normal view more, but you can have it differently. And now I'm going to show you how we can easily understand and how we can let's say buy something. So this is the straight away the most important thing. So when I, I'm in in US here and I'm going to choose the Upwork let's say. And Upwork is 17, uh, 17 .07 and sell 17.06. This is the lowest, this is the highest. Uh, you can always have information here, the instrument. So if it's a stock, asset class, at the market hours, the key facts about it. So you will learn like everything about the Upwork here. Now, what you can do is to simply choose the open ticket. So when you would click here, open ticket, you would see the volume, the instrument the account. Then you can like open the chart and you can add it to the chart. You can add to favorites or add to watch list. So that's something you can do. Whatever stock you're going to have, it's going to look similar. And you can always find it here. So this is where you can do it. Now, let's say I'm going for Forex and let's say I'm going to have for major Europe like this, open ticket. And here, let's say you're going to have volume and then you're going to have really interesting thing. I'm going to do it with a ticket. Yes, you can buy it with volume here and buy and sell, but I'm going to show you with a ticket because you can implement take profit and stop loss here. So here I have the contract value, the margin. I can have stop loss here and take profit. So let's say that we want to take a profit at zero. Wait a second, 0 0.90 and stop loss at 0 0.86, right? So these are the pips and the euro, the profitability. Then you're going to have the volume as a contract. So it's a look at this. Take profit when it's going to be at 0 0.9 and then sell at 0 0.6 and this is how much I would like lose here euro 57 or I would earn 172. You can of course have it at sell but we are in buying right now. You can have only take profit or stop loss not have but I would recommend having a stop loss. You would have also option to change the volume and you can like based on that you're going to have the contract value but if I'm going to have 0 0.03 or 0 0.02, I have this amount of contract value. So this is how we can do it. And you're always going to find like for 2000, these are, these are the pips, these are the euro. So it really depends, right? And then you can easily click and add a trailing stop here. And what point you would add a trailing stop. There is a wonderful video about trailing stop here. Uh, what you can learn from trading view, not trading view, but uh, how it's called 212 uh, the platform and they made a wonderful tutorial on trading so I recommend doing it and watching it so this is how you can do it right 0 0.866 okay 
And then what I can have is like buy here. Okay, I understand. And voila, here you got it, right? And you can do it, let's say commodities. So I'm going to have a commodities of other or industrial materials copper. Again, I can have a stop loss, take profit. I can simply have a contract value and hey, have again a uh, buy or sell. And based on that, again, how much profit I'm going to take. Then you're going to have the margin here, the PIB value, the commission, and then you're going to have also the pending uh, order right here if you want to have an expiration date for the price, for the volume. And you can have like buy limit and and uh, sell limit. So when you're going to have this, what you can have also is on a main screen, you can easily have indicators here when you're going to buy something. And when you're going to buy, you're always going to find all the positions right here on the bottom. See? And how well they're actually doing. This is demo account just for like understanding. And I can always click on Upwork and click close here. So I closed everything right now. And I'm going to remove my camera now so you can see everything. So I can simply click on whatever I have here and I can show on chart, let's say, and you can always find everything here. So when you have it and when you have the charts, let's say for the copper, we want to have it on open chart here. You're going to click here and then you can make it full screen by maximizing. And then here you can add indicators. Then you can simply uh, add trend line, rectangles, Fibonacci, the speed line, Genfan, also the arrow app, labels, text, and also the visible layer. So these are the basics what you have in every single graph here. And then next to the charts, you're always going to have news calendar, market analysis, education, and also history here. The education is a great thing in XTB that I would recommend also definitely check out. So that's something you can do. And this is how you uh, can understand the whole chart. You can also like click chart type here and change it to line. You can zoom in, zoom out, or you can change the chart position. And you can move to all this data or recent data. Data. You can change on the top right if it's going to be horizontal or standard. And then also you're going to have notifications here. So this is how you can pretty much do it. On the bottom, you can always switch between all the assets that you have here. Like let's say what you're trading. And that's pretty much it. So on the top right, you can always go and click here on trading or click on my account or settings here and added everything here like the hotkeys etc so if you can have any questions guys regards what you can do here and how you can understand it you can always know how many you're gonna like buy here i can click plus here and change the volume And you're always going to find the contract value. So that's something you can do. And that's pretty much it. And let's say I can buy off five or 15 and I can click buy here. So that's pretty much it. Or I can go 0 0.5 and click buy. So this is how pretty much you do it. You can buy it right here with the volume, but my recommendation is definitely do the demo account first and then jump to the real account. That's the best way what you can do. And that's what I believe in. So you click plus here and then you can easily change the volume. And what about like the contract? 
So Yeah. Thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.